Hello everyone, this is Gary with your Wednesday update for the Orange City Campus of Living Water Community Church on March 30. I'm going to run through events for the next 40 seconds or so, and then if you'd like to stick around after that, I can give you an update on where our worship coordinator search is currently. The next few moments, here are some things coming up. This Sunday we have Reaffirmation of Faith. This Sunday, we have an introduction of our care elders, so you get to know them. This Sunday, we are interviewing Abby Dykstra about her trip to Africa. This Sunday, we are looking at Psalm 23, verse 5. And this Sunday, we are celebrating communion. Several other events for you. Uh, prayer meeting is happening on Monday night, going through Pray the Word book. Palm Sunday is on April 10. Monday Thursday is going to be in Orange City. Good Friday is going to be in Sheldon. Easter Sunday is on the 17th. Baptism is April 24. Pancake Breakfast is on May 21. Grace, mercy, and peace to you if you have to check out. Now, for those of you sticking around, for an update on our Orange City Worship Coordinator Search, Council had some good time to talk about that at our last meeting, especially taking some of your notes from the huddle meeting, taking some of the notes from conversations that we've been able to have with several local area worship coordinators or leaders about what the landscape looks like, about what is happening in that worship coordinator world in the moment. And what we've been able to do is identify a search team that is going to take the ball and run with it. That search team is assigned and it includes members of council, Adri Grunewig and Arlen Scott. It includes myself. It includes Amy Stark, who currently serves uh, sort of on that worship uh, advisory board, being able to kind of see a current landscape, and also Donna Kurtzleben as our administrative assistant. Now, those members, that team is going to be tasked with narrowing in the search. So they've been given a pretty good uh, boundary by council. If we need something in between these guide rails, how can you narrow it down, especially as you find the right person, as you have the right kind conversations. And some of those foundations that we're guided with include what we've used as language, uh, the non-negotiables, the thing that for sure have to be there. And those three things especially include spiritual relationship with God, being able to have that close personal relationship so that it can come out on a Sunday, being able to have some musical knowledge, some musical know-how, uh, obviously as they stand and they lead those songs or those particular parts of worship, they need to know what they're doing. And then, of course, leadership, being able to speak well with the team, being able to lead us as a congregation well when it comes to a worship team, uh, when it comes to a worship service. With those three things as the pillars, we are tasked with finding what fills in the rest of the spots. Now, that has had a good conversation start in the huddle meeting. Uh, we've been able to talk about it at council. Wouldn't it be great if this person is also able to do X, Y, Z, or if this person is also able to do uh, ABC, whatever it might be, are we able to supplement a position with several different pieces that would allow us to have that full time kind of conversation that would allow us to do several things that we hope to do as living water, but we're just simply not able to do given our current staffing, given our current volunteer base, whatever it might be. Are there ways that we can have this person come alongside and bring us into a next level? So those are the kind of conversations that we're having right now. If you have any questions about that, make sure you let me know. Any one of those team members that I mentioned would be able to talk with you about where our conversations are going, about what they look like. I will continue to give you updates as I can as the conversations become narrower and narrower as we get closer and closer to this next step that God has called us to. With all that being said, grace, mercy, and peace to you. I hope to see you on Sunday. Have a wonderful week.